But if you thought about doing an upgrade to your computer, we're going to show you one today that's probably about the easiest upgrade that you can do inside a computer. Look inside the junk without messing anything up too badly. I guess it's also the easiest to really mess up your computer if you're not doing the right thing too. That is true. And this is called a RAM upgrade. We're increasing the memory of the computer, the random access memory. Uh, and that's an important thing. You know, a lot of times people are finding their machines are getting sluggish. A good performance boost is increasing the RAM. You know, typically a lot of machines now have like 512 megabytes. Some even have a gigabyte. But I, I really find when you double that uh, memory, you do get uh, a performance uh, increase. Absolutely. So the one thing we're going to want to do is make sure the computer is off. And make sure that you also pull out the power cord as well. Because any type of power that's running inside the computer can cause damage. And a lot of the computers these days have instant on. That's because even while it's off, it's taking a little bit of power. So we've taken out the power and we've totally got rid of that. I'm going to ground myself by grabbing the case as well to make sure I get rid of any static from me. And inside the static bag, you're grounded, right? Uh, yeah, I am now. <laughs> Here's the chip. So. Uh Important thing, you want to make sure that you break out the owner's manual for your particular computer and find out the specific kind of memory that it does take because uh, there are different types of memory modules out there and if you don't put the right one in, it's not going to work. And you can spend a few hundred dollars on these chips for an upgrade so you don't want to waste that money. So uh, this is a DIMM chip, stands for Dual Inline Memory Module and this is kind of uh, the type of chips that are in most new uh, computer systems. So let's get down there and actually do this upgrade. I'm going to pop this off. You can see there's a fan on this computer. This HP workstation actually blows all the hot air off of these chips. And because these get really hot, on this little blue coating on the top, this is a piece of metal. It's actually a heat sink. The bus speeds on these computers are so fast now that these chips pump out a lot of heat. So this computer also has a fan. And the reason why I said this is an easy upgrade, you can't put this thing in the wrong way. It actually can only go in one way. And I had it backwards there, and it wouldn't let me put it in. <laughs> Let's just put that Easy in, most. put the guidance in. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop it into place. You're going to see that clip chip there and that little clip pop there. Those two snaps mean it's now installed. So you want to make sure, uh, like AJ, he had had it in the wrong way. Don't force it in. If it's not going in, uh, you know, have a look and turn it the other way just to, to make sure. And as far as upgrade goes, that's one of the easiest upgrades you can do. Nowadays, many people have laptop computers. Upgrading your memory in a laptop is probably even one step easier than it is in a desktop computer. Well, in the old days, it was pretty difficult, actually. It was kind of dumb. The uh, manufacturers, uh, manufacturers would actually have the memory modules like underneath the keyboard, so you had to take the entire laptop apart. Obviously, convenience is a much uh, bigger factor now when you're choosing a laptop, so they do make it convenient for you to get at the uh, actual memory. And probably one of the things about upgrading the memory in a laptop is it isn't as expandable as the desktop computer. You remember inside of the HP desktop, we had all those open slots for upgrading. Well, inside of the laptop, there's only one spot for a chip here. So this means I have to take this chip out here, maybe a one gigabyte chip, and put in a two gigabyte chip in order to get that upgrade. So in theory, I've got three gigabytes in chips, but I'm only getting two gigabytes in speed. So you can see where the upgrades in the PCs are a little bit easier to do and probably long term more cost effective. So again, it's important that you do look up uh, the model number of uh, your particular laptop because these are even more proprietary as far as uh, the, the memory modules that go into laptops. You know what's kind of cool is that's actually the Wi-Fi, that's the antenna for the Wi-Fi. And you've just probably damaged it by poking. <laughs> so uh, get a performance increase, uh, put some more RAM into your system. It's not as uh, hard as you might think.